What's up, YouTube? Pink Reaper here, back with yet another uh, Super Mario Brothers Maker <laughs> level three, may three, three levels, three days. Um, feeling pretty good about myself. So, unlike the last two, I'm actually just gonna let this one play out in my play out in the background. These are my attempts to beat the level, um, so that I can properly upload it. <laughs> I die, I die a lot, but um, it's not a big deal. Uh, this one, this one's probably the easiest level I've made, which is saying something considering how like terrifying it looks, what with all the buzz saws and such. Um, but I called this level actually Super Meat Boy, <laughs> because that's kind of what it is. Um, Super Meat Boy, uh, for those who don't know, is a game that I I actually really really like. I think I think Super Meat Boy is an amazing game. Um, I've drawn quite a bit of inspiration from Super Meat Boy along with Kaizo Mario. Um, two retarded difficult um, platformers. Kaizo Mario more so for being completely unfair. Um, whoa. I, uh, I dropped more dropped more frames in this recording than I realized. Um, oh well, it's not a big deal. You're just gonna see me miss out on me doing the same thing over and over again. So yeah. Um, this is called a actually Super Meat Boy, and as you'll notice, um, having taken inspiration for for from Super Meat Boy, this level is about speed and it is about buzz saws, uh, but it's also about controlling Mario's um, momentum because they're one of the big things in Super Meat Boy is just how fluid the controls are and. Um, believe it or not, with, despite how floaty it is, I honestly believe Super, New Super Mario Bros. U um, has very tight control. Um, you don't move very fast, but the despite that, your your control your control feels incredibly incredibly precise. Um, everything from your jump height, from your movement speed, all seems really your aerial movement speed, I should say. Seems very, very well controlled um, with with Mar with Mario Brothers U, and I really like it. And in fact, um, uh, it's part of the reason why um, I've come to love New Super Mario Brothers as the um, level type uh, over Super Mario World for Super Mario Ma uh, Maker. Even though Super Mario World for a long time, and in fact, I still as as a game, I still consider it the best of the the two D Mario platformers. Um, but, um, just as, as it is in this game, I feel like Super Mario Bros. U is actually superior. Um, that said, I think, uh, I don't think for a second that I think, uh, Super Mario World is terrible or bad or even anything short of perfect in terms of control. It's just what allows you to do in this level, or with these level editors in this game, I feel like Super Mario U is better. Um, as for the level itself, you'll see it's a lot of fast moving platforming as well as wall jumping. Um, the, the two things I wanted to test in this level really were, um, um, well, like I said, uh, control of Mario, because there are a lot of parts in this, this level where you can both over and under jump, um, certain things just holding the jump button is not the correct uh the, the correct answer all the time nor is just letting go of it immediately the correct answer at any given time um it is about controlling your jump height and your ju jump distance the other thing is these aerial spins which is a maneuver that can only be performed in mario brothers u when you tap the shoulder button it allows mario to spin and it kind of alters his momentum a little bit in midair um that's the gimmick for this level in, in the same way that the wall spin jumps were the gimmick in my last level. Um, and the uh, the trampoline tricks, although there was only a couple of them, the trampoline tricks were the, uh, the gimmick in uh, my first level. But yeah, uh, this level itself is very short. Uh, you, this is almost the end of it right here. There's only one part after this, um, and that's the end of the entire level. Um, I chose to make a short level because that is what Super Meat Boy is. It's about short levels that, you know, you'll die a lot on. Um, that said, this isn't a super difficult level, despite, you know, everything that looks here. Um, only took me about 10 minutes to beat after I'd uh, completed it. I also didn't change much in this level. That's why, uh, 
that's why I'm doing sort of the overview and the um, the release video at the same time. Um, the only thing that changed is if you saw the thwomp back there that I spin jump on. Originally, I had the thwomp like quite a bit higher. It lands a little higher, and you had a lot less time to um, properly react to get on it. But I decided to not do that just because, as is, if I as it is in the level now, it isn't. It is theoretically at least possible to have enough time to understand what it is you need to do. You need to spin jump on top of the thwomp. Uh, will anyone who's never played this level before think to do that? Probably not. But um, it's also worth noting the, the spin jump mechanics on thwomp are really weird. The, the hitboxes from are pretty wonky. You can land on him from like an angle and uh, it'll work. Here's my first almost attempt. I lose some momentum right there, and I'm not sure why, but it wouldn't have mattered if I had done the, the aerial spins right there anyway. I would have survived. Um, but yeah, uh, that, that that was six minutes in. I'd already made it to the end of the level, uh, and then it's just a couple more attempts. And by a couple, I mean probably like 15 more attempts before I actually make it again. But, uh, but yeah, so other than that one change, literally nothing on this level has changed. Uh, everything is exactly where I placed it the second I placed it. Um, uh, I don't know why, I also don't know why I chose to put spikes there instead of like more buzz saws or something, but I just thought it would, I just decided that's what I was going to do. I was going to have one little thing of spikes, um, followed by three buzz saws, and then everything else is just buzz saws. Um, but yeah, so this is actually Super Meat Boy. Um, just like always, the code will be in the description for anyone who wants to try it out. Um, I had a lot of fun with this, um. I, I, anytime I died, I didn't really care because I honestly, I was, I was enjoying this level just playing it. Uh, it's probably my favorite level that I've made so far just to play. Um, uh, mostly because of how fast and how fluid it is and how, uh, precise it is, which is something I really like from platformers. But yeah, so anyways, uh, check it out guys. And thanks for watching. This has been Pink Reaper signing out.